Distributed antenna system, or DAS, is usually a series of low power repeaters in a large building that provides coverage when the external site isn't sufficient. Signals are sent from the internal repeaters to a donor antenna on the roof which connects to the tower site. DAS systems are expensive. They require extensive signal strength mapping and indoor antenna placement. It's crucial that signals from radios inside the building don't reach the external site as well as get into the DAS system. DAS is becoming more common as agencies move to FirstNet. DAS systems for public safety are covered under NFPA Section 72 and International Fire Code Section 510. NFPA requires 90 to 99 percent coverage in a building at a minimum of minus 95 dBm signal strength. A DAS can be as simple as a piece of leaky coax or a piece of coax that has perforations in the outer jacket to allow the signal to leak out, similar to a soaker hose that has a number of pinholes in it. These are often used in tunnels or elevator shafts. A single standalone unit is often called a BDA or bi-directional amplifier. It usually just has a donor antenna and one internal antenna. This is similar to a cell phone booster at the consumer level. Here's a block diagram of a DAS system. It starts out with the donor antenna, which is called a Yagi. This is a very directional antenna and points directly at the donor site. This is a public safety site in this particular drawing. This DAS system also has cellular and that donor site is indicated down here. Once the signal comes in through the donor antenna, it travels through coax down to the BDA or the repeater. Once the signal comes out of the repeater, it's changed into just data and goes into a fiber distribution unit. Once the signal's changed to data, it travels through the fiber network to fiber distribution units on the various floors. There it's converted back to an RF signal and then sent to an antenna or antennas on the various floors. As this diagram shows, you have both public safety two-way radio users and cell phone users on the same DAS system. These can be separate standalone systems independent of each other. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments or ideas for other videos, don't hesitate to contact me, support at tacticalrf.com. Don't forget to check out the other videos of my Radio 101 for Public Safety User Series.